Why do paratroopers often have such bad landings? It's not uncommon to see paratroopers flying into buildings, trees, vehicles, or even people, but it's often not really their fault. And that's because most jumps performed by the military are called static line jumps. These are usually from 1,200 feet or below and performed by dozens of people at the same time. And unlike normal civilian jumps where you pull the parachute yourself, it's attached to a static line, which in turn is attached to the plane. This means it opens automatically when you jump out, fully inflating in around 6 seconds. But here's the problem, these parachutes don't really have a proper method of steering. You can make very minor adjustments using slips, but on the whole you're at the mercy of the wind, meaning if you're heading for a building, there isn't much you can do about it other than prepare for the impact. But it actually gets worse, and that's because this lack of control means you can't generate much lift before you land, so you hit the ground a lot faster and harder than a civilian parachutist would. So even if you conduct a good PLF, it may still look rough to the outside observer. 